Welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Sudhakar Sharma. We are continuing our MVC video sessions. In our previous session, we discussed about uh, working with uh, JSON results. We are continuing the session of working with uh, various types of action results in MVC and uh, previously we discussed about what is a JSON result. Now in this session, we will discuss about another important action result that is a uh, file result. What is a file result? File result is an action result. So, it represents actually it represents it represents a base class, it represents a base class that is used to send send binary file content binary file content to the response to the response. So, file result is an action result which is used to send a binary file content to the response. For example, you have various types of resources in your project and a client needs to access those resources like uh, it can be a PDF document, it can be a word document or it can be an excel document or it can be an uh, exe file. That means, there are various resources provided in your application. Now, you want the client to access those resources and use the resources. So, I need to provide my action methods in such a way so that whenever a client request comes to this action method, so it will send these files as a response to the request. That means, in MVC, we are creating an action result, we are creating an action result that can send any binary file content to the response. What one important point you have to notice here is if I am trying to send a PDF document or Word document, Excel or any another type of document, the client browser must have the suitable plugins in order to view those documents. You are sending some binary file content to the response and when you are sending the binary file content to the response and uh, important is uh, the client browser is not having the plugins to view those contents, then obviously the files will be downloaded. That means, whether user can view the file content in his browser or the file downloaded, it completely depends on the plugins. That means, we have to make sure that the client have the suitable appropriate plugins to view those documents. Let us see one simple example for that, right, see. In uh, I will switch to my MVC project, in my MVC project. I will add a new folder, I will add a new folder by name content, okay. Into this content folder, I am adding, I am adding a new uh, existing document. So, in my computer, I have some existing documents, suppose I am accessing, I am adding here. So, a PDF document. Suppose I have a PDF document, some C sharp tutorial, okay. I will rename this in a short form as a tutorial dot PDF, okay. We have a tutorial PDF document and I am adding another document here, add another document here, existing item. I am adding uh, an uh, word document here, suppose some word documents are there, so I will add a word document here, okay. This is a word document and I will rename this as uh, yeah, MVC demo dot DOCX, it is a word document. So, I have two types of contents in my uh, application. I want to create action results in such a way, so that uh, I want these documents to be returned on request. How you can create controller action methods that can return files to response? So, let us see. If I want to return any file to response, I have to create an action result with return type as a 
file result. So, we are creating an action method with file result. I will give the name as tutorial. What this tutorial uh, has to do? See, we defined it as file result. Actually, file result can return a file to the response. Now, first we have to define what is the file to be returned to the response. We have to just mention the name and path of that particular file. Actually, it is present in tail slash content folder and we have tutorial dot pdf. Now, when you are sending any particular file to the response, you need to mention so which type of content you are sending so that the browser can understand the content type and can be able to display the content type if the plugins are supported. That means, when you are sending a file as a response to the browser, so you have to mention what type of content you are sending. That means, the file name and comma you have to define the content type. Actually, the content type is nothing but the MIME type of the file. So, every file type belongs to a specific MIME type. MIME type is a media type. That means, under a specific MIME type, several extensions may be there. For example, you have a MS Word. MS Word can have extension .doc or .docx. Suppose, Excel. Excel can have the extensions like .xlx, .xlsx, .csv. Now, the point is how you will refer the family of all Excel files. Instead of referring to every extension, you can just go with the MIME type of that file. So, whenever you are sending a specific file type based on the extension, you have to mention the MIME type also. If you are not sure about the MIME types for uh, various file extensions, you can go to your IS, INET, MGR, IS. I am opening my IS. In IS, you will find a category of uh, MIME types. You will find a category called MIME types. You can see there is MIME types. Open this MIME types, you will find the file extension and the MIME type. And we are using the file extension that is PDF dot PDF and you can see the file extension this is PDF. PDF MIME type is application slash PDF. So, whenever you are sending any specific extension, then you have to mention the MIME type. So, here I need to define the MIME type as application, application and slash PDF. This is the MIME type of the file. So, when we are trying to send a file as a response, we have to define the MIME type of that particular file. So, I will create another one. So, public file result and I will give as MVC doc and what it has to return, it should return file and uh, file result has to return a file and what is the file to be returned. In our content, we have MVC demo, it is a document, right. So, tilde slash content slash MVC demo dot docx and what is the MIME type of that particular file. So, let us go and see what is the MIME type of DOCX. You can see the MIME type of DOCX is this one. I will go to the edit of the MIME type so that I can copy that entire MIME type. Okay. So, that uh, I can simply paste that MIME type here. The content type will be that particular MIME type. Okay. Now, very important is uh, we are having two types of file results. One is trying to return a PDF, another one is trying to return a Word document. So, the point here is in order to view these files on the browser, browser need to have proper plugins. If plugins are supported, then it will open the contents and show. If plugin is not supported, obviously it will download the file that you requested. So, let us run this and see now. Our demo controller is having two action results. One is tutorial, another one MVC document. So, tutorial is a method which is trying to return a PDF document to the response. 
So, initially in the URL I will make the request for demo, in the demo I will say tutorial, okay. Tutorial is actually the method name, okay and hit you can see that it will return a PDF file to the response. As my browser is having PDF plugin, so th that is the reason I can view this document. Sometimes in your browsers you might not have a PDF plugin installed then, uh, so it will not open the file, it will download the file. For example, we will see the second one. So we have another action result called, uh, action method called MVC doc, I will try to open that MVC doc. So, MVC doc, but this MVC doc is, uh, is using actually a word document as a response to, to the client, but uh, word documents requires very special plugins to be installed in the browser. If I do not have the plugin for that particular uh, word document viewing, then see what happens when I make a request, that file will be downloaded. You can see in my downloads option you have MVC docs now. That means the file will be downloaded. You can see into my downloads folder that word document is added and made available in that location. That means whenever, whenever you are trying to, whenever you are trying to send a file to the response, it is very important that the browser of the client must be enabled with all the plugins required to view that file. If file is there, uh, plugins are there then you can view otherwise it will download. So, file result is an action result and uh, what is the key point we have to know is it is an action result that sends binary file content to the response. Whether we can view the file content or not it completely depends on the file plugins supported on browser and whenever you are sending the file you have to know about the MIME type of the file. That means we have to define the MIME types of the file. So, a file result can return a binary file content to the response. So, this is a file result works. Now, once we understand about the file result, we can go with another action result in the next session. Thank you.